Breastfeeding is instinctive for babies. This is not true for mothers who learn to breastfeed with practice and by watching others. Many mothers decide to try breastfeeding because they've learned about its importance to lifelong health and wellness. But to make breastfeeding work, it must be comfortable for you and your baby. Your comfort while you are breastfeeding depends primarily on where your nipple lands in your baby's mouth. And where your nipple lands depends primarily on how your baby takes the breast into his mouth. This is called latch-on. To understand how latch-on affects your comfort, let's look inside at the roof of a baby's mouth. Behind the baby's gums are ridges. Behind the ridges is the baby's hard palate. When your baby takes your breast into his mouth, if your nipple lands near the front of his mouth, your nipple will press against his hard palate. This is called a shallow latch, which can cause discomfort for you as he breastfeeds. If your baby breastfeeds with a shallow latch repeatedly, the friction and pressure may eventually cause you pain or even skin damage. Farther back in your baby's mouth, the palate changes from hard to soft. Some call the area near this soft palate the comfort zone. To get a better idea of where this is, use your own tongue to find your soft palate. When your baby takes your breast deeply into his mouth and latches on so that your nipple lands in the comfort zone, there is no undue friction or pressure as your baby breastfeeds. Latching on within the comfort zone is where breastfeeding is most comfortable for you and most effective for your baby. With most young babies, latch-on tends to go more smoothly if the mother starts by first triggering her baby's natural feeding instincts. Just like other mammals, humans are born knowing how to get to the mother's breast and feed. To trigger these inborn feeding instincts, start when your baby is calm, alert, and starting to feel hungry. Open your shirt and hold your baby skin to skin between your breasts. Relax and enjoy this feeling of closeness with your baby. When your baby feels the sensation and warmth of your skin against his, he will soon start to bob his head against your chest. Eventually, he will lunge down toward your breast. As your baby moves toward the breast, talk to him, look into his eyes, stroke him gently, and encourage him. You can help your baby by simply moving his bottom toward your other breast while supporting his neck and hips. Remember, these are natural human instincts. Your baby knows what to do. When he reaches the breast, help align his body so that his nose is opposite your nipple and his head is free to tilt back. Hold your baby close, with his body pressed against yours and his chin lightly touching your breast. Wait for him to lunge for the breast with his mouth wide open. As he latches on, give him a gentle push from behind his shoulders. That last gentle push will help your nipple reach the comfort zone. When your baby has a good latch, you will feel a gentle tugging at the breast, but you should feel no discomfort. Remember, breastfeeding is supposed to be comfortable for you and for your baby. It should not be painful. If breastfeeding hurts, it's important to ask for help from a board-certified lactation consultant. The sooner you find help, the sooner you and your baby can start to relax and enjoy breastfeeding, which is how it was meant to be for both of you.